Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters and relatives and friends and anyone who is listening to me. Shalom, shalom to all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. So today is the Feast of Trumpets. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So it's a season of the blowing of the trumpets. So I just want to take this opportunity to finish talking about um, the the Feast of Trumpets. This is the trumpet. I just thought I would blow the trumpet for this video, the second part. Um, talking about the Feast of Trumpets, which points to the day of Yahweh. And it's a day and a period and a season of time when Yahweh Elohim will be bringing a severe judgment upon the whole wide earth. So yes, hallelujah, hallelujah for the Feast of Trumpets. And I thought I would blow this shofar for the second part. Okay, um, so uh, when I was talking the last time, I was reading from Zephaniah, but then I saw that my time was limited on my recording device, and I didn't finish reading all the scriptures that I had gotten to read for this message. So I thought I would, you know, I had to do the second part, and today is... Um, I'm September the 1st and lots of our brothers and sisters and I am celebrating also the Feast of Trumpets. So I'll be reading from, I'll continue reading from Zephaniah, which I've said before, the Feast of Trumpets. It's uh, the shofar blast and it's the trumpets um, that is arrowing and pointing to the day of Yahweh or the day of the Lord as it is called in the Bible. And this day of Elohim is a period in time and a season when Yahweh Elohim tells us that he's going to bring a severe judgment upon all the nations of the earth because they have broken his commandment and they have not kept his laws and his statutes and his ordinance as is written in the Bible. And as all the prophets have um, foretold us about about. So yes, it's my continuation of the wake up, wake up call to all my relatives and friends, to my brothers and sisters that I grew up with that are still in the Sunday churches, that are really not completely obeying the laws of Elohim, because Elohim command us to keep all of his feast days and um, all of his Sabbaths and Sunday is definitely not not the biblical Sabbath of the Bible and Elo Yahweh Elohim and Yahushua wants all the children of Israel the 12 tribes of Israel to start celebrating all of his feast days which today is the feast is the time and the season for the feast of trumpets so yes I'm gonna be continuing with my wake up wake up call message wake up wake up to the 12 tribes of Israel and to the nations um, declaring that Yahweh is going to be bringing his judgment unless we all make repentance unto the sover sovereign creator of heaven and earth. So before I start the message, I just want to take this time to say a prayer unto Elohim. So, um, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done upon your earth as it has been done in Shemayim's the heavens. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us all our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, O Yahweh Elohim, but deliver us from all that is evil, for yours is all the kingdom the power, the honor, the glory, and the praise, and the love, and the worship forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. So yes, I was reading Zephaniah, 
and I just finished reading Zephaniah chapter 2 so I'll just continue with Zephaniah chapter 3 because all the prophets have already warned us that Elo that this is going to be the consequences of all the 12 tribes of Israel breaking Yahweh's laws and statutes and commandments so I'm just going to be the reading from the word of Zephaniah about this latter and last day the judgment of Elohim so I'll yeah. so in Zephaniah it says um, gather yourself together gather yourself O nation not desired this is Zephaniah chapter 2 before the decree bring forth before the day pass as as the chaff before the fierce anger of Yahweh comes upon you before the day of Yahweh anger come upon you seek Yahweh Elohim all you meek of the earth which have wrought is judgment seek righteousness seek meekness it may be that Yahweh Elohim will hide you in the day of his anger for Gaza shall be forsaken, and Ashkelon shall be a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod at noonday, and Ekron shall be rooted up. Woe to the inhabitant of the sea coast, the nation of the Cheratites. The word of Yahweh is against you, O Canaanite, the land of the Philistine. I will even destroy you, that there shall be no inhabitants says the sovereign creator of all things created the seco shall be dwelling in cottages for shepherds and the flock the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah they shall feed there upon the houses of Ashkelon shall they lie down in the evening Yahweh their Elohim shall visit them and turn away their captivity I have heard the report of Moab says Elohim and the reviling of the children of Ammon whereby they have report my people and magnify themselves against their borders therefore as I live says Yahuwah Sovohot Yahweh Elohim um, I am the God of Israel surely Moab shall be as Sodom and Gomorrah even the breeding of nettle and salt pit and a perpetual desolation the residue of my people shall spoil them and the remnant of my people shall possess them this they shall have for their pride and arrogance against Yahweh Elohim because they have report and magnified themselves against the people of Yahuwah Savahot. Yahweh will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the fake gods of the earth, all the gods that um, the 12 tribe of Israel have made for themselves by the imagination of mankind's mind and heart. Yahweh says he's going to destroy them all. For he's going to famish all the gods of the earth and, and mankind shall worship Yahuwah Elohim, the creator, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. Even the Ethiopian, you shall be slain by my sword, says Yahweh Savahot. And he, Yahweh Elohim is going to stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria and will make Nineveh a desolation and a dry and a modern day Nineveh, modern day Assyria, they're all still around. So Yahweh still knows who they are and this is his plan of judgment for all who does not repent unto him. And I will Nineveh a desolation and and dry like a wilderness and flock shall lie down in the midst of her all I'll just turn the page all the beasts of the nations both the comorant and the bittern shall lie there upon uh, shall, shall lodge in their upper lentil 
in the upper lentil of it their voice shall sing in the in the windows desolation shall be in the threshold for he shall uncover the cedar work yeah why is gonna uncover the cedar work this is the rejoicing city that dwell clearlessly that says that says that dwell clearlessly that says in her heart i am all who are prideful and arrogance that says i am established and who is is there anyone like me is there anyone as like me and beside me i am and is there is none beside me says this arrogant prideful city how will she become a desolation, says Yahuwah, a place for the beast to lie down in. Everyone that pass by her shall hiss and wag his hand. So woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city, because she did not obey Yahuwah's voice, and she did not receive any of Yahuwah's correction. Um, yeah. Or prince within her, or roaring lion, or judges, or evening wolves, they gnaw at the bone till till the morning. Yahweh said, the prophet in this city are light and treacherous persons. Earth priests have polluted the sanctuary and have done violence to the Elohim covenant, to all his laws, his statutes, and his ordinances. The just Elohim, Yahweh, Savahot, this says the Lord in the Bible, but Yahweh, our Yahuwah, is the Elohim that is in the Bible. So the just Elohim is in, is in the midst thereof. He will do no iniquity. Every morning, Yahweh bring forth his judgment to light. He fails not, but the unjust has no shame. They are so arrogant and so so boastful, so prideful. Yahweh says, I have cut off nations. Their towers are desolate. I have made their street waste that none pass by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no person that uh, there is no person, that there is no inhabitant. And Yahweh says, when I do all these things, Yahweh Elohim thinks, no, surely they will repent unto me. But Elohim says, as much as he has done all of these, he says, surely they will receive instruction and take correction so that their dwelling should not be cut off. Uh, cut off oh, but also ever Yahuwah Elohim punishes them and do all of these things to them they rose early 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 and corrupted all of their doings so it doesn't matter Yahuwah says he's tried to bring them in correction but they always rebel and go back to their own wicked ways so Abba says wait for me until the day that I rise up for the prey. For my determination, says the sovereign, is to gather the nations that I may assemble all the kingdoms of the earth to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth is going to be devoured by the fierceness of Yahweh's jealous wrath. He's jealous because he's the sovereign mastermind creator that has created all human beings for his family. And they've all rebelled and turned against him to worship all the work of their hands. So Abba Father says he's very jealous for his integrity and for his word. Um, for they will for for then I will turn after um, even all my fierce anger the hurt shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy and after that he's gonna turn the people to a pure language most likely Hebrew that they make all call upon the name of yod Yahuwah Sovahot Yahweh Elohim to serve Yahweh with one consent one accord 
um, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my, supple my suppliants, even the daughter of my despair shall bring my offering. In that day shall you not be ashamed of all your doings, wherein you have transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of her midst those that rejoice in pride and arrogance, and you shall no more be haughty upon my Kodesh mountain. I will also leave in the midst of you an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh Elohim. The remnant of Israel shall do no iniquity, nor speak any lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth for they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid so sing O daughter of Zion rejoice O Israel be glad and rejoice with all your heart daughter of Jerusalem for Yahuwah Elohim has taken away your judgment. He has cast out your enemy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise Elohim for all the work of his hands and for being the watcher and the watch of his word to manifest them and actualize them in his earth. For the king of Israel, even Yahweh Sovahod, is in the midst of you. You shall not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said of Yerushalayim, Fear not, and unto Zion let not your hands be slack, for Yahweh your Elohim is with you. And he is mighty with his deliverance. Yahweh will rest in his love and Yahweh will joy over you with singing. Yahweh Elohim says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are a few of whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all those that afflict you. And will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every nation where, where they have been put to shame. At the time I will bring you again, even the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity... From before your eyes. So that's um, Zephaniah warning of the day of Elohim, which today, the Feast of Trumpet season, is pointing to Yahweh's Elohim judgment. Unless all the 12 tribes of Israel that is all over the earth repent unto the sovereign creator. And he says, then he will leave us a blessing instead of all of this rebuke so now i just want to read also um isaiah chapter 2 that tells us about the day of elohim which the shofar blast and uh, uh and this piece of trumpet is pointing to so the shofar blast warning of the day of elohim so so I will read Isaiah 2. The word of Isaiah, the son of Ammon, that he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass in the last days, the last days that the mountain of the house of Yahweh shall be established in top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hills and all the nations are going to flow unto the house of Elohim. And many people shall come and say, let us go up to the house of to the mountain of Yahweh, Yahuwah Elohim, to the house of the creator the god the god of jacob the elohim of jacob and yahweh elohim will teach us his ways and he and we will walk in elohim's pathway that will be a 
celebrate an awesome time when all the 12 tribes of Yahweh Elohim is walking in his pathway, is walking in his word and obeying all of his laws and his statutes and his ordinances that are not burdensome. But he's made it so easy for us to keep it because he sent Yahushua HaMashiach called Jesus Christ in all the churches to die for us, to bring us the liberty and the jubilee and the freedom, the, li the, the law of liberty, all his commandments and his statue, which are easy to keep. He says they're easy to keep because um, he has made the pathway for us. So it will be a great um, thing, a great time when all of the 12 tribes of Israel are walking in the law of Elohim. Elohim will teach us his ways and we will walk in his pathway for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh from Yerushalayim and Yahweh shall judge among the nations. Elohim is going to rebuke many many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshare and their spear into pruning oaks because when, when, when this is happening nations shall not lift up sword against another nation neither shall they learn war anymore when all the people of the earth are obeying the laws of Elohim and walking in the word of Yahweh oh, oh house of Jacob all the twelve tribes of Jacob uh, come and let us walk in the light of Yahweh and in the light of Yeshua called Jesus Christ in the Bible. Therefore, therefore you have, it says, therefore you forsaken your people, the house of Jacob, because they are replenished from the east because they've taken all the philosophy of the east they've taken in all the idolatry of the east so yahweh says he's abandoned abandoned them they're replenished from the east and are soothsayers like the philistine and they please themselves in the in the children of strangers strangers are people who bring you strange doctrines strange ideology and theory and theology so you turn away from the word of that is in the bible from the commandments the laws and the statutes their land is also full of silver and gold neither is there any end to their treasure their land is full of horses neither is there any end to their chariots and their land is full of idols lots of idols and they worship the work of their own hand that which their own finger make they worship and and the mean person bow down and the great man humble himself therefore Yahweh says he might not forgive them don't forgive them he says therefore forgive them not enter into the rock and hide yourself in the dust for the fear of Yahuwah and for and for the glory of Elohim majesty the lofty looks of man shall be humble and the haughtiness of human beings shall be bowed down and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day for the day of Yahweh of hosts is upon everyone that is proud and arrogant, that is high and lofty, upon everyone that is lifted up, and Yahweh is going to bring them low. It is written in the Bible. And this is the word of Elohim, and he watches over his word to make sure that they come to pass in the earth. Um, and upon all the cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up and upon all the oaks of Basham and upon all the high mountain upon all the hills that are lifted up and upon every high tower and upon every fenced wall and upon the ships of Tarshish and upon the pleasant pictures and the the loftiness and the arrogance and the pridefulness of mankind is going to be brought down by Yahuwah Sobahod. And uh, it shall be brought down. Yahuwah alone will be exalted 
after his judgment upon the earth. Um, and they, sh um, because Yahweh Sabahot says he shall, and the idols is gonna utterly abolish from off of his earth all idols, and they shall go into the holes of the rock and into the caves of the earth for the fear of Yahuwah Sovahot and for the glory of Yahweh the Creator Majesty when the sovereign Creator rise up to shake the earth terribly in that day human beings shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold which they have made each one for himself to worship they're gonna cast it to the moles and to the bats and to go and they're gonna go into the cleft of the rock uh, into the top of the ragged rock for the fear of Yahweh Sovahod and for the glory of Elohim Majesty when Yahweh rises up to shake the earth terribly. Um, um, cease you from man, um, cease you from man whose breath is in his nostril, for wherein is he to be accounted for? For be behold, Behold, Yahweh of hosts do, um, does bring his judgment. So that is Isaiah 2 about the day of Elohim. And this is my last scripture. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank Elohim for the piece of trumpets and for the warning that he gives us all so we can wake up, wake up and make repentance unto the sovereign creator. Because even if you don't believe in Yahweh Elohim and his Bible, that does not stop him from being in all of his judgment that is written all over his earth. Even if you think the herd comes from some other um, evolution or anything like that Yahweh still is gonna bring all of his judgment upon mankind for their rebellion against him and his laws and his statutes and his ordinances so this is my wake up wake up call using my voice as a trumpet to warn my brothers and my sisters my relatives and my friends that Yahweh Elohim is serious about repentance and is serious about bringing his judgment which we can see with eyes that are open his judgment all over the earth in all the storms and the hurricane and the earthquake and all the nations fighting against nations and all the fires that are raging in all the nations these are the things that all the prophets of the Bible warn us about in these last days Days. So this is a piece of trumpet. I'm using my voice as a trumpet to proclaim that the trumpet and the shofar call does point to the judgment and the day of Elohim. So I will just read my last scripture, which is Malachi. <laughs> Malachi 3, uh, um, chapter 3, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and Elohim whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, says Yahweh, Sabahod. But who can abide the day of Yahweh and Yeshua's coming? For who can stand when Yeshua appears? For Yahweh and Yeshua is like a refiner's fire and like fuller soap, and he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver, and Yahweh of hosts shall purify the son of Levi's and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto Yahweh an offering in righteousness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto Yahweh as in the days of whole, as in the former years. And I will come near you for judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, against false swearers. I'm going to be a swift witness against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. A swift witness against... Um, swift, I, 
island in the ways is oppress the widow, oppress the fatherless, and turn aside the stranger from his right. And fear not, Yahweh Elohim, and what he's written about all these things. For I am Yahweh Elohim, I change not. And because I change not, that's why you sons of Israel, Jacob, are not consumed because of all the evils of your doing. So repent, repent. The day of Elohim is at hand. Even from the day of your fathers, you son of Jacob has gone far away from my ordinances and have not kept them. So repent and return unto me and I will return unto you, says Yahuwah Savahot. But you says, why shall we return? Will a man rob Elohim? Abba's father says, you have robbed him in in the tithes and the offering and and you are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me even the whole nation the 12 tribes of israel so that's why abba father is um cautioning us to repent and to return unto him so um so Abba Father says, when you return and repent and bring me all my tithes, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, says Yahweh Sovahod. And all nations shall call you blessed, for you shall be a delightsome land, says Yahuwah. And this, they, <laughs> the children of Israel say, <laughs> um, your word have been stout against me says Yahweh yet you say what have we spoken against you O Elohim because you have said it is vain to serve Elohim and what profit is it of us that we should keep his laws and his statutes and his ordinances and that we should walk mournfully before Yahweh Elohim? And now you call the proud happy. Yes, they that work wickedness are set up. Yes, they that tempt Elohim are they tempt Yahweh Elohim with all of their wickedness and because um, it seems like nothing happened to them people says they are successful then they that fear Elohim speak often one to another and Yahweh arken and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him for those that fear Elohim and for those that fear Yahuwah and that taught upon his great and awesome yod Vave name. They shall be mine, says Yahuwah of hosts, in the day that I make up my jewel. I'll spare them as a man spare his own child that serve him. Then you shall discern between the righteous and between the wicked, between the person that serves Elohim and him that and those that serve not Elohim. For behold, the days come, says Yahweh, that is going to burn as an oven, the day of Elohim, and all the proud and the arrogant and the prideful, yes, all that do rebel against Yahweh shall be stubble. And the day that, come, that comes is going to burn them up, says Yahuwah Sabahot, and it shall and it will not leave them root nor branch. But to you that fear my name, says Yahweh, the son of righteousness is going to arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth as calf grown up in the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked. All the children of Elohim, his sons and daughters, priests and kings, are going to tread down the wicked, for they shall be as ashes under the sole of your feet in the day that Yahweh Elohim, Yahweh Sabahot does this, Yahweh Elohim. So remember, remember, O children of Israel, the law of Moses, my servant, says Yahweh. 
which I commanded him in Oreb for all Israel with my statutes and my judgment. Behold, Yahweh says he's going to send Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Elohim, which this piece of trumpet is signaling the day of Elohim and the messianic rule and reign of Yahushua HaMashiach over all that was created for Yeshua and brought back to Yeshua in being the last Adam and Yahweh says he's gonna turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers in these days repent repent wake up and repent unto Elohim Abba says if you don't wake up and repent and when he's trying to turn the heart of the fathers to their children he's gonna come and smite the earth with a curse so this is my wake up wake up call about the feast of trumpet and the feast of trumpet which it which signals um the time of the day uh, the day of the lord which is yahweh or yahuwah sovahod so i thank you thank you for listening to me and shalom shalom to you please like subscribe and share my video Shalom, shalom.